in a Chicago cafe. The chefs are the best and the menus are so gourmet. The best cuisine on the scene is in Chicago land, USA. Great chefs, great chefs of Chicago. Welcome to Great Chefs of Chicago, a television masterclass with chefs of some of the finest restaurants in the Chicago metropolitan area. This time from Wheeling, north of the city, Jean Bonchet, chef owner of La Francaise. His reputation is such that visitors to Chicago sometimes make reservations at the restaurant before making plane or hotel arrangements. In many ways, Chef Bonchet put Chicago on the dining map. Born in France, he was brought to the city in 1968 to head up the kitchen of the Playboy Resort in Lake Geneva. Five years later, he opened La Francaise. The restaurant has not only become world famous in its own right, but has spawned a number of fine restaurants by a former employees. La Francaise has been called a culinary miracle, and Jean Bachet is the miracle worker. Unpretentious and intense, he rules his kitchen like the older French chefs. Chef Bachet works with lightning speed, so watch closely. Jean Bachet, like a good souffle, waits for no one, including on several occasions, our cameraman. We're going to make a salad de pigeon with the quail eggs. This fresh squab, the blood is in. I'm going to bone it. Should be no bones. The meat is very red, but the blood is still in. It's going to be very juicy. I'm going to put the pan out with clarifé butter. Hot stove. Season in the squab. With the bones, we make the stock to put around the salad. Each size. We'll put this on the pan. Give some color. We have to cook the squab medium rare. They have to be a little pink. I'm going to start getting my salad ready. I put another pan for the wild mushrooms. Wild mushrooms are shiitake, oyster, inoki, chanterelles, and a pied de mouton. This is a mutton foot mushroom so, in English. So a little more. I'm going to put it in the oven at 450. I get my salad ready. The salad includes small green beans, Belgian and curly endive, yes. and mush, a little green curly. that is similar to watercress. And I think we're all set. Now I'm going to need a pan for the quail eggs. Wash my. Two more minutes. I'm gonna get the quail eggs for the salad. I'm gonna crack the eggs. about three eggs for one salad. It should be okay. Cook it slowly now. 
Salad with the vinaigrette dressing. This is a salad. You can use any good vinaigrette dressing. Mix together. The leaf of lettuce here look nice. One here, some red one. on the top of the lettuce. Put the squab on the top of the mushrooms. The juice go in the mushroom. Take out the grease. A drop of vinegar. Chef Rocher deglazes the pan with vinegar. Ready just one minute. Now we'll have a squab stock. Ready? Enriched chicken stock may be substituted for squab stock. Cook the squab for a few minutes. In the last minute, add the chives. Don't cook it. And it's ready to serve with the salad. I'm going to slice the, the squab on the top of the salad with an electric knife, which I, I like it. Here. We're going to put the mushrooms around. The plate has to be warm and not too hot. If the plate is too hot, it will cook the salad. Now we're going to do a little more squab breast. The breast is pink. There's the way. There's the way to, to eat it. Very tender and juicy. Another one over there. Now I'm going to put the, the quail eggs. You can put a slice of truffles to look better. The color is nice. And little watercress. And it's ready. Salad de pigeon. We're going to do uh, opirette, the homard, or caviar, and au nouilles. Lobster with caviar, fresh noodles, and basil. I'm going to steam the lobster for eight minutes, two and a half pounds lobster. Tails. We'll keep this to make a decoration. Cut this in half. Remove the stomach. It's bitter. Tails, we cut it here. The lobster tail and claw meat will be reserved and the shells used for stock to make the sauce.
this bomb here. No, I'm going to chop the bones. All right. Now, take the towel. Add the noodles. I'm going to put clarified butter. I'm going to make the sauce. The most important. If the pan is hot, I'm going to add the lobster shells. All the shells. Saute it. For five minutes, you saute it. Good. When it's saute for five minutes, we add the shallots. A little bit of shallots. Fresh tarragons. I'm going to put a little fresh tomatoes to make the sauce. This all be going to be strained, and for the color, it's good. All this on the pot. So take five minutes. I'm going to add cognac. Cherry. And the white wine. I'm going to leave this reduce all the way. Meanwhile, peeled, seeded tomatoes are diced for garnish. We're going to saute these tomatoes in olive oil with salt and pepper. Take a pan, put some olive oil. This in. A little salt and pepper here on the tomatoes. Add the pan with the olive oil. And just put the tomatoes inside. Saute for a few minutes. Tomatoes have to be warm. They don't have to be cooked. It's for color. It's nice. I'm going to add the cream. Chef Boche adds heavy cream and some gelatinous fish stock. This then is also Reduce reduced bit for five minutes. With little fish stocks. One cup. Put little season in. Leave it cooking. Tomatoes are ready, you see. Don't cook too much. You put on the, on the calendar, they the drain the grease and the water. You keep this for garnish. All right, we're going to make the noodles. When the sauce is cooking, I'm going to make the noodles. Put, I'll put some cream. The butter. How is my finger at this uh, professional starch? And I'm going to chop some basil, and slice it, some basil, I'm going to put inside. Fresh basil will go into heavy cream and butter, then pre-cooked pasta is added. Put on the cream. Salt and pepper. I'll strain the sauce. Fine strainer. Put this away. The sauce will be ready. Keep it warm. Now we make the noodles. Fresh noodles. Been cooked. We reduce the noodles on the cream until the cream coat the noodles. The reserved claw meat is used for garnish. See the noodles start getting ready. Right. 
and the lobster tail is sliced into medallions. And put the medallion around the plate is better. You see, I have to put the noodles on the middle. Yeah, that's what I do. Okay, noodles are ready. Put the noodles on the middle. Now, we use the tomatoes on the center a little bit. between the, the medallion for color. Now we'll put the caviar on each medallion. Now, do the basil leaves. Good. Pops. And this operette de homard au caviar. And we fresh. Noisette of venaison sauce graveneur or marron confit. The venaison, this one is not marinated, fresh venaison from the saddles. And this one been marinated. I'm going to cut some medallion from this one. The marinade for the venison includes red wine, olive oil, thyme, rosemary, garlic, bay leaf, and juniper berries. Three pieces per person is enough. Bread rectangles are sautéed in clarified butter. The venison slices will be placed on them. This is a small little pipe of the barquette. We're going to serve the lingol berry inside for garnish the venison. You want this size. Put on the plate. The medallion is going to go on the top so that they don't, they don't stay on the sauce and cook more. They have to be medium rare. All right, this one is ready. Pepper. That's hold. On each size. The medallions are sautéed over high heat in clarified butter. You have to be very hot. If not, the meat can be tough. You have to cook hot. We're going to garnish with a chestnut that a fresh chestnut cook on the dark fat. We call it confit. We're going to use that for garnish. I'm going to put on the plate until the venison. I will sh show you. Chestnut confit begins with fresh chestnuts which are parboiled, then uh, peeled before very slow cooking in duck fat. Smell good already. Turn over. This been cooked medium rare. We're gonna put on the tray. The chestnut are on. You have to look good. Each meat on the top of the crouton. Now 
the, ju the juice from the medallion go on the crouton and is a good flavor. This, I will remove the fat all the way. Add some of the marinade from the venison and reduce it. You scrap the, the bottom of the pan. Take out the flavor, reduce all the way down until it's a very the syrups. It's going to be for the. On the top, we can put for garnish and make some mushroom tournée, we call this, and it looks beautiful. Garnish includes the fluted mushrooms and pastry boats filled with fresh lingonberries. The sauce is reducing. The sauce Grand Veneur is basically venison stock, burgundy, and veal demi gloss. A bit. This is ready. I'm going to add just a little bit red currant jelly. A little bit. Bring it to ball. Mix it. Don't cook too much the red currant jelly. Now I put on the table here. And I'm going to have Monte au beurre, fresh butter inside. We'll give it shine to the sauce and a good flavor. You have to move it like that. If you don't move, the butter will be clarified and it's not the same. You see how shiny the sauce comes. See, it's ready. I'm going to strain the sauce, small strainer here. Soufflé Grand Marnier sans farine. It's a Grand Marnier soufflé with flourless. I'm going to use three eggs. Make the egg yolks. The egg, with the egg white here, we're going to beat it. Three egg yolks. Egg whites are beaten to soft peaks, then sugar will be added. Add the sugar, some sugar, mix together. Add the sugar and the egg white. The egg white has to be thick and not too much. All right, the egg whites are ready. I'm going to mix the egg white. Now, a piece of the more egg white here. Yeah. Put two souffle. Mix together. Careful and fast folding is the key to a good souffle. We put on the mold. We butter the mold and sugar the molds. They're ready. You have to fill up the mold like that. You do this. Make sure it's flat before you put on the oven. 
and you do this with a finger. Very important, this. The rest is much better. We will bake in the oven at 400 degrees. This oven is here. All right, take about, say, it's about 15 minutes to uh, 18 minutes to cook it. I think they are ready. We can take it out. Soup, the grand marnier. Little pot of sugar. That look good. Au Grand Marnier. For this menu, Chef Bachet and wife Doris recommend a Tavel Rosé with the squab salad, Poulini Montrachet with the lobster, Cham Chambertine with the venison, and Tottinger Rosé Champagne with dessert. And now dinner is served. Join us next time for more cooking excitement. This menu complements of La Foncée and Jean Bachet another great chef of Chicago. Chicago land, yeah, you get Chicago land.